Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, October 1st. It's officially my favorite month of the year. And welcome to Vlogtober. We're gonna try this this year. I do Vlogmas every year, which makes sense, because I love Christmas. But I've never done Vlogtober, which makes no sense, because I fucking love Halloween. Welcome to my channel. We cuss here in a wholesome and healthy way. <laughs> Hi. Good morning, if you're new here, my name is Fox. This is my channel. I am a 40-something, going through it every day. <laughs> uh, today I'm going through allergies because unfortunately, even though the fall is my favorite time of year, it is also the universe's favorite time of year to try to kill me. Maybe. It's a toss up. Fall and spring, we're not quite sure. But anyway, this year I'm gonna be trying to do Vlogtober. I don't know how this is going to work. Full disclosure, I am a retail pharmacist by profession, and October, despite being my favorite month, is also the peak of flu season, and now we also do COVID boosters in the fall. Um, so it is peak vaccine season, and that turns me into, fittingly for October, a zombie at the end of every work shift. So. We're going to try Vlogtober, and I started wondering when I was thinking about doing this if that was why I never do it. Because my work days, I just come home and I'm like, very dead inside, as opposed to just a little dead inside. So, I don't know. Um, but it's October 1st. I feel like October 1st is the best day of the year. Unfortunately, I have to work today. Um, but I have some time right now. I'm gonna start doing my creative projects for the month, setting them up. And then I have a 13 mile run today. It's cutback week of trying, I'm training for the Charlotte, North Carolina marathon in one month and three days. Oh my God, it's here already. Um, but I am trying to do my, structure my cutback weeks for my work weeks. So today is gonna be 13 miles. Um, yeah, I think that's the update for the morning. I'm gonna start working on like my monthly creative project setups in my journals and my planners. Um, and we're gonna go from there. So I'll try to check in. We're gonna try this. I have, I still have some videos, some vlogs to catch up on. So I'm gonna be working on those today too. Um, so I don't know when this video, this video might not go out until like Wednesday, even though I'm filming it on Sunday. But then I will get on track and do the daily videos after that. So there's gonna be daily videos, it's just not gonna be set in October right away. By the time you're seeing this, it's probably gonna be like the fourth, which is my birthday, the second best day of the year, or the fifth. So anyway, but we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna share all the spooky things with you this month. find this recipe that I texted a husband and I can't find it but instead I found this article that I texted him about mellified corpses uh, so that's also a recipe I guess okay this is the actual article that I was looking for it's 50 flavored popcorn recipes since we watch a movie every night in the month of October and I have a popcorn maker so look at some of these brown butter and lemon ranch Frito I definitely have to make this one Frito pie y'all know me and my Frito pie Parmesan rose. I mean, these look all really good. Um, the other one I thought looks really good. I don't like everything bagel. I'm the only person I know who doesn't like everything bagel. But bacon chive sounds good. Uh, that sounds good. This one I thought sounded really, really good. There's so many options in here. Holy smokes. Oh, here, French onion dip. French onion dip. Six tablespoons. Oh, so many butters. Six tablespoons of butter with one ounce packet of onion soup mix. 16 cups of hot popcorn. Okay, that's like 4,000 people's worth of popcorn, right? So we'll just we'll just do some math. But anyway, I guess these are all for 16 or 12 cups of hot popcorn, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of math. But I think I'm gonna print this out and then have options. But this sounds really good. And my friend just sent me this um, reel on Instagram that was like pairing wines with potato chips in different flavors. And they said Chardonnay goes with sour cream and onion chips so I bet if I make this French onion dip popcorn it will go with Chardonnay so I'm really excited these are gonna be delicious
Hi everybody, it's the evening. I look a mess right now. <laughs> um, I'm out on my long run and I made my map for Riverview Trail, which is over here in Frick Park, forgetting that much of Riverview Trail is gravel like this. It's really shitty. It's very hard on your feet, very hard on your ankles. I think I'm almost through the gravel part, but oh, it is so fucking hot. When I got in my car at the end of the day at work, it said 86 degrees. This is not October weather. We don't want it. I think I've made it through the end of the rocks. I think that may be the end of the rocks. But anyway, um, yeah, so 13 miles today. I'm gonna be here in Frick Park. I'm headed over to Highland Park uh, and then back up some hills, putting a lot more hills in than I would like to do for an after work long run. But my marathon's gonna be hilly, so we gonna try it. So anyway, hello, I'll check back in soon. Okay, all you sweet babies. Okay, be very careful, all right? You need to promise me you're gonna be careful? Do you, have, do you have friends in a different, like maybe Fayette County, you got a cousin in Fayette County, maybe go visit them for a little bit until like January? Cause there's gonna be hunters out here. What are you two doing over there? Keep it, keep it civil over there, you two. I saw that. All right, be careful, be safe, I love you. And if anything bad happens, you know, there's, you, you go on the other side, you look for my dad, he'll feed you, okay? All right, I love you, be careful. I do love you, okay? reservoir at night when I planned this run I envisioned getting here much earlier and it wouldn't be dark <laughs> it's dark and I thought it's a warm night there will be people there it's not really anybody here so we're gonna just turn this thing around because it's spooky movie season and I don't need to be starring in my own life. Hello. I'm in the last like two and a half miles and I decided I'm gonna go up Negley, which is this very steep hill. So that's maybe a bad idea, but I'm trying to get my hill training in, so I'm going to walk it. This is very steep, but it's one of my last big hills before the hill that I live on. Okay, I made it. And I forgot there's a little dip and then you go back up again. That's the last big hill besides the hill that I live on. Almost there. All right, I survived my run. My feet are killing me after being on my feet all day at work and this whole week of work. What's today, day five? Yeah, day five out of seven and then 13 miles. So my feet are like fucked and I can't wait to just sit quietly. We're gonna start our 31 days of spooky movies. So our first movie we're gonna watch is The Fog which we've never seen, but we watched this documentary about all these um, spooky movies from the 80s and it was recommended on there. It looked pretty good, so we're gonna try it. Our friend Steve-O is also watching it so we can talk about it afterwards. Very exciting. It's like movie club, but like, we're just gonna talk about it after. <laughs> Monday morning, five days down, two days to go. I can do this. My hair is a mess because I washed it last night after my run and I slept on it. And the earth is trying to kill me and my nose is all stuffed up this morning. Well, not even stuffy, but like my sinuses are like, 
So, um, this is this is the height of glamour. This is what we look like in the mornings. It's very glamorous. I don't know. October first was not as October firsty as I like it to be. Why does he keep doing this? He keeps auto starting. I'm like trying to stop so that I can like clear my throat and sniffle and then it's like we're starting the video again automatically I don't know what option I have selected to make this happen but you know whatever anyway yesterday was not this stuff like at all it was just I don't know the morning was like felt chaotic because I felt like I had so many things I wanted to do and then like I had to make a phone call then we had to do Layla's ear cleaning and like all these other things that I hadn't planned on doing snuck in with the things that I had planned and it just got me like all backwards but um, yesterday at work was not a bad day. We had one bad egg who came in and it was a whole situation and it was a mess. And, um, thankfully the person behind him was like, I am so sorry that that happened. And I was like, this is, this is the life I've chosen. It's healthcare. It's retail. It's, uh, it's what we have to work with. So, but anyway, other than that, it was like a fine day. So that was good. It was very, very busy, but for the most part, it was like really good. And then when I got home, I did my run and oh my God, though, my feet were killing me by the end of it. Like after being on my feet at work all day and that was day five in a row and like, and then going for a 13 mile run, I was just like done. So came home, um, took a shower. We ended up ordering, um, we ordered salads from this pizza place. The other night we had gotten like a little pizza after, how were we doing? Oh, it was after Eddie Izzard. We had gone to see Susie Eddie Izzard on Thursday night. She was hilarious and amazing as always. And then we just ordered like a little pizza because I was so tired. We had planned to like go have a nightcap somewhere and we just ended up going home and we just ordered a little pizza, but we got a salad and it was like so fresh. So last night I was like, after I got home from my run, I was like, I just want vegetables. And so we ordered from the same place. So we got a salad and then I did have like one little slice of pizza and we started our horror movies for the month or not horror, spooky movies because sometimes we choose horror comedies or funny spooky movies or just fall movies and so we started watching the fog from 1980 which is john carpenter movie that we've never seen before and then our friend steve has never seen it either so he was watching it so we were like chatting about it and then i just ended up there was like 40 minutes left and i was just starting to like nod off on the couch so we stopped so we will finish that hopefully i guess tonight we're gonna be caged tonight though so i don't know about timing but anyway it was really good and i was like i don't want to miss any of it but i was just like so tired so tired and i'm so tired right now and i could not wake up this morning so i got up like an hour later than i wanted to at six o'clock like trying to do the things but the struggle is real so we get back to working on the things and i'll check in later grace come here ma'am ma'am you do you want to tell me what happened here is this your bed your bed belongs here right but your bed's right here right now and is it did you put your bed on top of your water dish? Why did you do that? <laughs> Why did you do that, silly? Why did you do it, huh? You're so silly. You're just a silly girl who does silly things. Oh my goodness, you're so funny. Hello, everybody. Hold on, I gotta turn Whitney down because I don't want to get a copyright strike here. Uh, can you see me over this? There's Okay, is that the way we hold it? Okay, sorry. We're in the car. We're doing a car chat. There, you can see me a little better now. It is Tuesday night, October 3rd. It is almost my birthday, the second greatest day of the year. And I have to go run. So I'm gonna try to do a run. So I'm over here on Beachwood Boulevard, which is like a very long street near our house. Um, but I'm over in Shady Side here. And I always like park in front of this. This is like where the rich people live, like, they're rich people the very rich people live over here and I am I always park in front of this like one rich person's house and they're probably like what the fuck is this person doing again but anyway I'm gonna try to run I'm gonna do Negley again which I did the other night which is that really steep ass motherfucking hill which I did Sunday night at the end of my long run I'm gonna try to do that again just to get some more hills in it's gonna be about three mile run it's about eight o'clock it's later than I needed to go out but I had to like sit on the stairs and like reevaluate my entire life choices after I got home from work today because it was today was like not as bad as yesterday and yesterday was not as bad as the day before and nothing was quite as bad as Friday I think I don't even remember it's all a blur but I'm done with my seven days I'm off for the next seven days except I have jury duty 
good times. And tomorrow's my birthday. Actually, in four hours, it'll be my birthday. So, you know, that's very exciting. So I'm gonna get this run out of the way, go home and shower, and we're gonna finish watching. There's something on a bike. We're gonna be finished, look, spooky. Ah! <laughs> we're gonna finish watching um, The Fog that we started the other night and I got sleepy during. And then around 10 o'clock-ish, 10.30, between 10 and 10.30, we're gonna go up to the cage and have a late dinner because we like to be there at midnight for my birthday. And I always have my annual Long Island iced tea. And then we do Jaeger shots at midnight. I don't know why. But anyway, that's the plan for the night. Look, you see me. You can't see me. You can see me. You can't see me. I've been doing a shit job of Vlogtober so far. The first three days of Vlogtober have been just like me complaining about how bad my work life balance is right now, but it's gonna get better. Cool things are gonna happen over the next few days. Fall is here. My birthday is tomorrow. Okay, I'll check in soon. I'm gonna show you, if I can, some cool lawn art because there are some really good shit out in people's yards. No, there is some really People have done their yards up nice for the holidays. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Okay, this one's my favorite. Look how cool this cat is. Look at the eyes. Oh my god, I love it. Sorry. People who live here, I'm just like staring at your cool lawn de decoration. Oh, look at that! Ooh, I love it. Okay, this is like an elementary school, but what? The Freddy Krueger is this shit. No, thank you. Let's keep going. Bye. Okay, y'all, I just finished my run. I'm in my car. I'm ready to drive home. But there is this like, I thought it was a helicopter, but it's a plane. I don't know if it's like a military plane or what. And now it's gone. And it's like super low flying and it's been circling over here and it's very creepy. I guess it's gone now, but I got a picture of it. But what the fuck? There's spooky shit out and about tonight. Hello, I forgot to film on the way up. I made it for my run, it was a good run except for the creepy plane at the end. But anyway, we are at the cage for the traditional birthday night celebration. So we always do Jaeger shots at midnight and we always have a Long Island iced tea because 20 years ago from this moment, it's the first time I ever came here and that was my first ever drink at the cage. Wednesday morning is my birthday. I am at the shelter and I'm about to go. Whoa, my hat is starting to fray on the end here. I'm at the shelter and I'm about to go walk my babies. And one of the babies here is my baby boy Joe, who was my baby in 2020, and he's back. And I can't wait to see him. I'm sad that he's back, but I can't wait to see him. We're out here with Nightwing. Hi, that's you. Yeah, you want to show everybody why you're named Nightwing? First of all, because he stands like this, like he's like going to spring into action and solve mysteries. Nightwing. Yes, good boy. Look at his face. It looks like he's wearing a little mask. He's a little superhero. Oh, God, he's two years old. He's available for adoption. Come and meet him. <laughs> he's just being very roly-poly. It's very adorable. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing, huh? My goodness, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Hello everybody. What the fuck is going on outside? Back from the shelter. All the dogs were perfect today. I was hoping to take Joe on a little field trip and then we were trying to get it approved with the volunteer coordinator and never heard back from her. So um, so we just hung out for a little while. He helped me take my conference call this morning. But I'm home now. I have to go get my lashes done soon. I have some videos to edit. A lot of laundry to do because we leave tomorrow for the finger Like I really need to have my lashes fixed. As you can tell, they're in a bad state of affairs right now. But I'm gonna drink some water and I think I'm gonna go out and get some breakfast or lunch. So I'm gonna just have a quick snack now and drink some water and have some coffee.
I tried to come to Eaton Park and this is the one that I love. It's a little tiny one and they don't have the salad bar today, which is what I wanted. So I have to go to the other one that I don't like as much. The other Eaton Park attempt number two to get a salad bar. The emergency broadcast test is going off, right on meeting, terrifying. Ma'am, where did you find a napkin to shred? Lay the grace. Where, where did this... Oh, nasty. You're so gross. <laughs> did you do that? Layla, what did you do? Oh, you're so grody. Excited to be at the semi? Hang out for a little bit. What are we doing? Are you so excited? What are you doing, huh? So pretty. I like this little... We never come to this side. There's two sides to Uniondale. So this is Uniondale Cemetery. This is the north side cemetery because we have... Come on. Let's go. Leave it. So Homewood Cemetery is the one by us. What are you looking at, huh? And then Allegheny Cemetery is the one over in Lawrenceville. And then this is Uniondale. And there's actually two cemeteries that connect over here. Look at that. So pretty. Um, Uniondale and Highland are both over here. They're both excellent cemeteries, both dog friendly. Um, if you want, I think, well, I will fact check myself. Uniondale is definitely dog friendly. Um, I think Highland is also, though. He's a baby. And so much fun. So we're going to come sit here and uh, got my bullet journal and work on that. And, ooh, William Semple. I wonder if he is the uh, Semple of Semple Street that I lived on in college, perhaps. We just have a nice sit. We never come to this side because it's like two separate entrances. And this time I was like, we're going to go to this different side. Check it out. Some older stuff over here, I think. Very pretty. Is this your pup cup that you got as a reward for being so brave at the cemetery? I, I, leave it. Wait till mommy says. Okay, let's not do it over mommy's cough. Oh my goodness, yeah, because you're making a mess. Oh no, Lady Grace. So happy. We got free Starbucks. You get a free, if you are have the Starbucks app. Here, you can have it here. You get a free Starbucks on your birthday. So I got my free Starbucks. And then I got her a free pup cup because she was a special angel. Did you get it all? Oh no, she dropped it. I gotta get it for her. But anyway, the day is going much better. It was, it had a good start with my shelter babies. And then it was just like errands and grown up stuff. I mean, getting my lashes done is not like an errand errand. But when you have stubby ass eyelashes like I do, it is an errand. <laughs> it, is, it is a part of life that you have to do. So um, anyway, but it was just like the sitting in the traffic getting like out there was not so bad but getting home was like 45 minutes so I did have a really nice lunch at Eaton Park so that was good and now I have reset my day and I feel better and I feel happy and dinner's in two hours so it's time to go home and hang out before that good evening everybody it's Wednesday night it's still my birthday we are going to get dinner at I'm gonna totally probably mispronounce it Jijin is that right pretty sure pretty sure well we 
Zhijian is how we think it's pronounced. Um, but it's, we've been trying to get here for like years at this point, but we always, one year? All oh, your dresses last there. Anyway, we've been trying to get here and it has been booked every time we've tried to go. So we finally got in tonight, nine o'clock, which is like a little bit late for dinner if we're gonna watch a movie later, but we're watching Hellraiser, which I have seen 17,000 times. So if I fall asleep, it's like, I, I know how it ends. Um, but anyway, so I'm very excited because it's supposed to be awesome food. Today has gotten better as the day has gone on. It's a little rough for a minute there, but we're back. We're good. We're gonna get some good food, good cocktails, and I'm very excited. Hello everybody, it is Thursday morning. Still morning, it's very late. Very, we wanna be leaving, we're gonna be on the road right now. We haven't even gone to pick up my mom. So, running late, per the huge. We are headed up to Cuca Lake very shortly. I think I'm going to close out the first four days of the month vlog and start a new vlog here. So, Jijin was very good. Um, it was very pricey, much pricier than I even expected, quite honestly. I knew it was gonna be expensive, but I think it was even more than I expected. Um, but it was very good, I'm glad we went. The drinks were ex excellent, they are very good. Um, but it was a nice time, but a little bit pricier than I was expecting for the amount of food that it was. So yes, so good dinner, good birthday overall. Had a little rough part in the middle there when I was getting a little like hangry and grumpy, but then it ended up great. The cemetery time just fixed it all. So, so we're headed up to the Finger Lakes today. It's gonna be a good trip. I think we're gonna get some rain. I'm not super stoked about that, but it is what it is. It'll be okay. And because sometimes we do get rain this week, I made sure that the place that we reserved has a covered porch so we can still sit outside. So that's nice. So anyway, closing out the vlog here. I will see you next time on the way to the Finger Lakes. Please subscribe if you are new here. And as always, my friends, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you.